Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you how to get the downloader application to your Fire Stick as well as to how to correctly set it up on your device. Downloader is an app that you can use on your Fire Stick or Android TV to download pretty much any other app from the internet, including the apps which are not available in the official Amazon App Store by default. So now let me show you how to get the downloader to your device as well as how to set it up. First of all, we'll have to go to search on your device, which is right here, open the search bar, and now here start typing downloader. As you can see, now downloader has already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter the whole name of the app. We we'll click on the loader, and that's the app which you need to get to your device. So we'll click on it once again, wait until the page loads, and then click on the download button. And now in a couple of seconds, the downloader is going to be installed to your Fire Stick or Android TV device, depending on what kind of device you are using. And now it's been installed, but it's not ready to be used yet, because we still have to set it up. So in order to set up the loader, we'll go to settings on our device, then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. From here, we'll have to enable developer options on your device. But on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new Fire Stick devices, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, and you cannot find developer options anywhere, no need to worry, it's actually easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast, so let's do it. And as you can see, now for me at the bottom it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. And in your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. So if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So open them, then enable ADB debugging, that's an important option. Then we'll need to go to install unknown apps, click on it. From here, locate on loader, there it is and turn that option on. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those apps which are only available in the official Amazon App Store. Now finally let's go to the list of apps on your device, which is right here, open it, scroll down to the bottom, and here you'll find the loader, which was set up and ready to use on your device. But before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which you always recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN because they're super fast, they got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great pricing for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Germany right now, and from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means no one can track you or snoop on you online, and that's really important if you want to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video, or in the description of the video, you'll get three months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN, with three months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now with the camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you the same deal for Nord. And now finally let's use the loader safely. So we go to the list of apps on your device, open up the loader and of course wait until the app loads for you. Then click OK. Here on the left side menu you should click on home, not on browser, and then basically in that search bar you can enter any name for any application that you're looking for or just visit any website. So let's say we are interested in the TVMate IPTV player. In that case, we just go to the search bar and start typing tvmate.com because that's the website of TVMate IPTV player. So it's tvmate. 
com. You just enter the link, click on go. While the website is loading, just make sure to subscribe to my channel so you would get even more content about flower sticks. And then after the website has opened, we scroll down until we find the download APK button right here. Click on download APK. And pretty much now the download is going to start. So that's how you can use the loader to install other applications from the internet. Then you click on install and wait until TVMate gets installed to your Fire Stick. By the way, after the app was installed, do not click on open yet. Instead, press on done because here we'll have an option to delete the installation file as you don't need it anymore on your device. So you click on delete and then delete once again. This way you get rid of unnecessary files from your Fire Stick and save yourself some free space on your device. And that's really important because you don't have too much of free space on your Fire Stick anyway. And now the app that we have downloaded is going to appear in a list of applications on your device. So today you learned how to get the downloader app to your Fire Stick as well to how to set it up and use it. Enjoy and see you next time. Bye bye.